Welcome back to another episode with Finista Magic. We got LSU, we got Georgia highlights coming at you. Ooh, sultry, sultry, good tasting stuff. If you're an LSU fan, for sure, let's jump right into this. Let's start. The fans from Georgia have been barking in the bayou for days. Kirby Smart knows as a player at Georgia and then a coach here how intimidating this place can be, especially for his quarterback, Jake Fromm. 103,000 will be fired up. And with that, the Home Depot SEC on CBS brings us indeed to Tiger Stadium in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And our matchup, East against West, the Georgia Bulldogs and the Tigers of LSU. As you take a look at the standings in the SEC, we're at the midway point of the season, so the standings matter now. Georgia trying to keep a leg up on Kentucky and Florida. LSU trying to keep pace with Alabama in the West. You can hear in the background the fireworks are starting already. The stadium starting to shake. The Tigers take the field. We'll check in with Jamie and kick it off in Baton Rouge when we come back. Here we go again. It certainly has been a lot of high matchup of SEC Titans. Then wait for this. Let's go. We can be We prepare each and every week the same. We go out, hit people in the mouth all week. It's what we do. It's how we practice, regardless of the opponent. A lot of big talk by Georgia head coach Kirby Smart. Things are kicked off here in Baton Rouge. Georgia won the toss. They elected to go for the second half. So LSU gets the ball first. It's a big game. Number 13 against number two. Man, that's, that's just unreal. Uh, LSU doesn't start off too well. And get a sack right there on a big third and six. So now Georgia's got the ball. I mean, they're a number two team for a reason, folks. Right down the field. I mean, they're attacking just like you would expect, just like I expect. And there's a drop there. A uh, little hiccup again. Another drop pass. And then this is just uh, not on target by Fromm. So LSU gets the ball back, and then they start attacking themselves. Great, great second effort to get that first down on a third down run. And then we feed the ball to Brissett, give you another first down. <laughs> Burrow dropping back, throwing deep to Jefferson. Great catch, great catch. And the kick is good. Didn't get a touchdown, but a great start for LSU for sure. Uh, coming back again, Georgia with their run game, man. They're, uh, they're on point with their run game for sure. Swift takes it all the way down to 45, uh, their side of the field. And then Holyfield. Just trucks battle. I mean, it just tr run clean over battle. Holyfield again coming on the left side of the uh, field. So hard to take this dude down. And, and him in battle again. I don't understand why Georgia didn't run Holyfield more. As he, uh, they had success with him. Uh, great defense. I mean, stiffening up right there close to their, their end zone. And then Georgia tries the fake field goal. Get out of here with that mess, Georgia. That ain't happening, dude. Big play, big play, no points for Georgia. And then LSU comes back, man, Morrow with the with the extra effort. And then Elair coming through the line. I wish this boy had some more speed because I tell you what, that would have been a touchdown. But it's, the, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Bursette coming in there. I thought he got in here, but, I mean, replay angles were horrible, so – you couldn't tell if he crossed the line or not. Fourth and goal. Uh, Orgeron's caught screaming for a timeout because Burrow's about to just go. <laughs> and uh, they do wind up going for it here on fourth and goal. And Burrow just, I mean, this kid here, I, I cannot get over how excited and happy I am that he came here from Ohio State. And he is fired up, man. Look at him. Getting in there for a touchdown, you know. <laughs> and the extra point is good. So Georgia comes back on a third and nine and does not get it. Long throw, so they have to punt. This always makes me nervous. Punt returns always make me nervous. I mean, look at it, a little, little, little bobble, but he, he got it. So uh, LSU's offensive series coming back again, going deep with a wide open Jefferson, man. Wide open. He went in a little motion. Nobody followed him. Nobody defended him. I mean, it was just phenomenal. Phenomenal. 
Couldn't punch it in again. Georgia's got a good defense, so they had to settle for a field goal. Still, points are points. Uh, third and four, Georgia here. Going deep. Can't get it. Inaccurate again. Cannot get it. Burrow in a little bit of pressure here. He decides, I'm going to take it myself. And does not get the first. Kirby is going a little bit crazy on the sideline. Yeah, and they go for it here on fourth down, and Burrow gets it. This is kind of questionable. I know a lot of people, I'm sure, is going to be like, oh, no, no, he didn't get it, but, well, guess what? He, he got it, so there it is. So another third down, and, man, just poise, poise, protection. First down pass right there. So still same drive. Going deep, man. If Burrow was just a touch more accurate on that, could have been another touchdown. But it's okay. It's okay. We come back with some E-layer action. Bounces it to the left side of the line. Throws this guy out the way. <laughs> Tough running for e -Lair. And then, uh, again, another fourth down. Going into shotgun formation. Running up the middle on him. I mean, just right down their throat and then uh burrow decides i'm gonna keep this myself the only reason i wanted to show this play it was a long third and 22 look at him ripped his helmet off this kid here from georgia see his hand in the helmet should have been kicked out of the entire stadium and sat on the bus and said now nah, you're done anyway it was not called i was losing my mind on that but they changed things up georgia goes with a different quarterback and that doesn't do anything. So they put Fromm back in. A lot of pressure on Fromm. A lot of pressure. He's uh, dancing around. Inaccurate throw. Could have could have gone for a long way, but they had to punt. So LSU gets the ball back. They have a third down. And Georgia gets some really good pressure on uh, Burrow, which causes a sack. So they get the ball back. And he... Oh, 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 oh. And a sack. And a sack. I was impressed with LSU's uh, defense in this game. Big hit that white laid on that dude right there. So they had to punt, couldn't do anything before half. LSU gets the ball back and uh, kneels it down. Here's your half stats right there, 16 and nothing. Shut out Georgia in the first half for sure. And the uh, the yardage there and the time of possession really, really on LSU's side. So here we are in third, third quarter. Uh, Georgia gets the ball back. Nice hit on from uh, to start off the third quarter. And uh, once again, Georgia's got a great run de uh, team. So, you know, it, it was kind of kind of hit or miss at times with Georgia. But, I mean, <laughs> they get a nice – LSU gets a nice sack here. Nice pressure on Fromm and a nice sack. Throwing deep, gets that first down. Long pass play on the, on the far sidelines to get that first down. Georgia's got a fight in them, man, for sure. What, what a defensive play by Greedy Williams. I mean, phenomenal. And look at number 45, just throwing that tackle out the way to get the sack on Fromm. Look at this over here on the left side of the screen. Spins and throws him out the way and says, no, 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 you're not going to deny me this, man. I'm, I'm getting the sack. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. Beautiful effort. So Georgia had to settle for a field goal there. They get finally break the, break the scoreboard there. The LSU comes on back, y'all. Uh, getting a little pressure on him, but... Hey, it still gets the first down on a third and five there. Another third down. Handoff run up the middle. Gets the first down. I tell you, there was a lot of fight. A lot a lot of good fight and plays that LSU had. Um, and the, the up-tempo offense that LSU was scheming uh, hurt Georgia a lot. They, I don't think they planned for that. Anyway, the, the drive stalled out. Had to punt. Great punt and a great stop right there on, on, four, on uh, the four-yard line. So, Georgia's backed up deep, third and ten. He stretches it out, and <laughs> pick time. Pick time, man. Interception. They looked at this. They reviewed it. The ball never, never touches the ground. Phenomenal interception at LSU had. After review, the ruling on the field stands. First down, LSU. And another fourth down again, Burrow. <laughs> Called fourth down run. Couldn't do anything again, So, uh, uh, but once again, still, field goal gives you points. Changing up the quarterback again, Georgia doesn't know what to do, man. They have no answer. They're just they're reaching right now, trying to do something. Oh, boy, does not really do much. You know, LSU is ready for it. So they put Fromm back in the game, second and seven. Long pass and complete. So they're still driving. Still driving. A little flea flicker. Oh, geez. Deep pass. Wide open. 
I don't know about that, though. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Oh, Bobble, and then the foot out of bounds. That's going to come back. Yeah, Bobble, catch it, foot out of bounds. It's coming back. Play. After review. Nothing. The receiver bobbled the ball prior to uh, possessing it inbound. So they called it back. So now we're on a third and six. Fromm really can't find anybody. He is in serious straits. But his running back does position himself in a great, a great way to get that first down. And then Holyfield, man. Georgia is gonna is, has to be kicking themselves for not using this kid more running the ball. I apologize here. My editing is horrible. I missed their touchdown with Holyfield, and that's their two-point try that did not work. Uh, so they did break the scoreboard on a touchdown. Uh, here's a punt. Re nice punt return Georgia had. Same drive, third and six now. So uh, Fromm is trying to find somebody. Nobody open, and it's sack time. It's sack time. LSU has got their foot on the gas pedal, like, uh, and just keeping them, keeping it going. Another nervous punt, man. I tell you, I just don't like this. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. Elair gets the handoff, and he is just on fire. On fire. Great blocking up front for him. Great protection for Burrow. Just a little play action pass to the fullback who just wills his way for the first down. Deep pass again to Jefferson. Man, he snatches that ball down the middle. Great pass. Picking up more momentum. A little toss sweep out here to the left side of the line. Elair, man, so close, so close. Great run. Puts him in position right on the goal line to get some more points. Burrow, call up the middle again. Touchdown. Crosses the plane. Everybody like, oh, no, no, no. Yep, yeah, yeah, touchdown. Sorry about that. He's fired up still, man. Point after good. When you're leader of the team, you show him you lead the team. And he did it. <laughs> LSU is jacked, man. I mean, who would have thought number two comes in a Baton Rouge and gets pushed around like this? I sure didn't. I'm an LSU fan. But anyway, here comes out of the, man, major hit right there on a kickoff return. Fumble. Big time fumble. Look at our kicker Atkins coming down there, ripping the ball out right there. He says, I got it, man. I got the ball over here, guys. I got it over here. Y'all don't, don't even know. Y'all don't even know. <laughs> Big time turnover. Big time turnover. Huge punch in the mouth, ain't that right, Kirby Smart? <laughs> this was definitely, you know, a fumble for sure. I thought, looking at it, that number four had regained possession, but looking at it right here, you can tell he did not have possession, and they didn't rip it out of his hands after he was on the ground. Look at where the ball is. It's below his legs, and Atkins comes in here and just grabs it. LSU, unfortunately, couldn't get a touchdown, so they settled for a field goal, which is still good. We're still putting points on the board. But the game is not over, folks. Georgia is number two for a reason again. And it, it, just like this, folks, Georgia can just run on down the field, man. And in a minute and 24 seconds, Georgia gets a touchdown. So, and the extra point. So it's, I mean, six minutes left, 5.51 now. LSU with a nice little run here. First set with a nice little wrinkle coming around. And then Burrow says, I'm going to hold on to this myself. Get out of my way, boys. I'm running down the field. I want this. I want this touchdown. He doesn't get it. But I tell you, the heart that this kid has, uh, unreal. I love it. Instincts. When you walk away and you compete at Ohio State for a job and you lose and you say, you know where I'm going to go? I'm going to go to LSU. I know I got to play Alabama. I know I got to play Georgia. I want the challenge. He's taken it and he has come through for this team. What a day for Joe Burrow. Phenomenal. I love, I love, I love me some Joe Burrow. Nice little left, uh, left run, left side run to get their touchdown. And that is your nail in the coffin right there. Let's talk about punching in the mouth now, Kirby Extra Smart. <laughs> Extra point is up and good. 36 to 16. Last gasp for Georgia. Deep pass. Not accurate. Intercepted. And that, 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 that seals it right there. Battle, you know, he got run over truck twice, but he kind of redeemed himself there with that interception. Victory formation. Georgia falls to 6-1 and 4-1. And 
LSU climbs to six and one and three and one. So there'll be a shakeup in the top 15 in the country as LSU will move forward in the rankings and Georgia will fall. Big, big home win for Coach O and he's with it. Uh, he's with Jamie right now down on the field. Coach, once again, we find ourselves in a melee in a game that you guys weren't expected to win. How did you get this one done? Tremendous team effort. Our guys were hungry all week. A lot of respect for Georgia. We know we have to play our best ball. This is our best game by far of the year. When did you know you took this game over? You know, I just thought that the whole game, when we came out in the first half to play the way we did, we could physically stand with them. We stopped their running in the second quarter. I felt good about it. Joe Burrow, the toughness, the way. I know what people want to tell him how to slide and how to get out of bounds, but his toughness today really carried you guys? No question. Uh, Joe's tough. He's a leader. Give credit to the offensive line. This is a great defense to put the amount of points we had. Just a tremendous team win. Coach, thank you. Congrats. Go Tigers. Now we're going to hear the play of the game by Chris Blair. On the year, he's 9 of 11 on field goals, and it's a fake. They pitch it, coming to Blankenship near side, and he will be tackled. Lost the ball. Tigers may have it. They do at the 17-yard line. Bulldogs try to pull the gadget back, and it blows up in their face. Devin White comes up with the loose ball as they pitched it back to Blankenship. He was dead to right at about the 15-yard line. Tigers had it all smothered up. And that's the scene at Tiger Stadium as they rush the field after picking off the number two team in the country by 20, 36 to 16, the final score. That's going to do it for us. We'll be in Knoxville next week. Hope you join us then. For Gary Danielson and Jamie Erdo, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long from Baton Rouge. Final score, 36-16, the Tigers with the upset. The CBS Sports College Football Post Game Show presented by Capital One is up next right after these messages. So long from Baton Rouge.